All right, y'all, so we are going to be playing another round of matches with the Choice Scarf Defiant Thunderous team. So, if you saw the live stream a day or two ago, we were kind of trying to test this team, and I would repost those matches, it's just that the audio got kind of messed up and, like, lagged, and it just doesn't really make good review content, but we did get really good matches if you do want to see it in that video. It took us a little bit to get used to the team. We probably lost like three in a row before we started winning any, um, but we definitely, you know, got some good matches. So I'll, I'll link that, of course, like up in the corner if you want to see that, but really fun team. Uh, I think in general, we've been seeing that Tornadus Goldengo has been very good right now. Uh, and when paired with Iron Hands and Amoongus, that is also just uh, an extremely good core, right? We have Black Blast's Urshifu to hit really hard, and we also have Choice Scarf Thunderous to do those surprise uh, knockouts. Uh, I mainly have it for like a all my homies hate Fluttermane type of thing, but uh, at the same time, I you know you do have Iron Hands and like you also have Gold Dango, and you know Fluttermane just doesn't take steel hits very well. But you can also surprise them with a Ghost Terra Blast. And that's also good for things like Gold Dango, even though we have Urshifu, right? So, uh, I think a lot of the times it seems like, what's the point of Choice Scarf Thunderous? And more than anything, I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> and, it, and, like, you just have to play it well, right? Um, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Consider giving a like or subscribe if you are not, you know? All right, let's get in another match with this team. I'm feeling it. Ooh, this is the sauce for sure. Um, so if they have Ice Q, they probably have Belly Drum Strats, meaning that technically I want to start Tornadus, right? Um, and then besides that, I'm not 100% sure. I kind of like the idea of starting Tornadus Thunderous just for the, the surprise factor of it. And then, let's see, what in the back? Hmm. I mean, that's actually not that good here. Uh, maybe we should start Urshifu and then bring Gold Dango and Iron Hands. That feels kind of good to me. Um, I'm just a little bit worried about the Reggie Draco, but I think what I'm using has the tools to deal with it. <laughs> so they are going to start that and that, which I get. Um, I think I want to just go taunt and then go close combat, honestly. Should have called that. click freeze dry. They click blizzard this time and I am going to 
Tornadus lives. Let's go to Bleak Windstorm and Drain Punk. I mean, they're in a really good position here. All they need to do is just click like Poison Terra, right? Um, which they probably should have, but they might not. Like, I've been letting them get away with quite a lot this game so far. I just don't know if it really matters. Okay. Ice Q is kind of performing right now, you gotta be honest. I'm glad that I was faster there, because I didn't expect it. So I'm gonna go for Churn Water again, which is annoying, you gotta be honest. We have to just click Nasty Plot, and then... Somebody's slow. Yikes. That's the end of my tailwind though, we just lose, right? Tailwind, you son of a... <laughs> oh man, it's like, if only it would just last one more turn. feels like, I don't know, like they just have a lot of options, if that makes sense, between the Valk and the Crest and the Beedra, right, um, I can only do so much at once. I kind of want to start Urshifu Torn with... You know what? Actually, I think... I think... Urshifu Mushroom might be a really good start here. With... Torn... 
Or let's see, um... It's like, I want to bring this because it's really good against their team. I do need to charge my controller, unfortunately. And then, I guess I'm just going to bring this. start Deidre Press, they start probably I would say the better lead that they have. I'm gonna click Spore Detect. Cause I feel like we need to see what they're gonna do, right? not remember that that was possible. Um, we might just lose straight up off that. have a chance at like doing decently well for the exchange of this turn but all things considered I don't know what's about to happen and I probably have to take out that slot next turn which I don't want to have to do. They do go for the quiver dance though which I kind of wanted. So I think my wicked blow should do Maybe 80 to 90% if I'm lucky. Maybe 70%. Okay. They do have the Baba Booey Berry though, unfortunately. Um, so the good thing about this is I can just click Fake Out Wicked Blow. And it's like, I mean, what are you doing? I'm risking both of my Pokemon getting burned, which is the bad thing. Um... does its fair share. Um, I'm gonna heavy slam here. Hmm. I'm gonna drain punch, actually. And I'm gonna switch into gold mango. Because I think we can maybe use this as a chance to start clicking nasty plot. But we also need to, like, not be too passive in front of this Rochen. <laughs> so they do set up the Reflect, which means that I'm probably about to do nothing right now. They do with the Palm Palm. And yeah, the Drain Punch doesn't really do anything. Um, I'm gonna say Drain 
I just don't want them to click knock off is the thing, right? Like, I technically want to click protect this turn. They are gonna tear the road chain into water. <laughs> um, I think maybe I should have just gone for the nasty plot, but now I can click make it rain next, or I mean, uh, wild charge. So they do go for snow. Snarl is honestly like even better for me. Did you get a crit as well? They pretty much have to set up the Misty Train again. I'm gonna go for Nasty Plot Log Charge. Yeah. So that should be Valk coming back on. Screens. Uh, yeah, okay. So I think we have to click Heavy Slam. We Nasty Plot again. Almost definitely should live a flamethrower, or I mean a heat bathe. I don't know about. Yeah, okay, so let's see. I think what I have to do here is just click Protect and Wild Charge, right? Like, the only way that you get out of this is by switching out Gudra right now. Right? You'd have to switch out Gudra and then live the hit. <laughs> For Tactical Dango. They might still live it anyways, I'm really not sure. Um, ooh, that's rough. Because that was a really good play. I think our opponent should pretty much just quit now, like, there's really not that much they can do. I think if Live Wo Chen has some way to bring this back, then that would be the one thing they can do, but like, there's not really much of a prospect. Uh, I think I'm just gonna click Drain Punch, Shadow Ball. Like, they should quit, probably. I don't think they will quit this turn, but yeah, okay, so they do. So GG's. Um, yeah, there was no way out of that for them, so there's there's not much to say. Like, uh, I think we played that one really well, so, you know. Definitely GG's. So, uh, it's like I've been saying, you know, like, when you play this team high-level positioning and actually think about the positioning, like, the team does do really well, so, you know. We, we pulled it off. Um, so this person does not have Tailwind, um, I 
They have Garchomp. Champow. None of which is particularly threatening for a portion of my team. But I probably want to lead Urshifu here with Iron Hands in the back. I don't know if Thunderous is good here, but yeah, it actually doesn't seem that good. But I think that the, the thing to do with this team would be to just take off Thunderous for like Reggie Draco. You know, and then it's like, hey, look, that's a team. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. Um, we obviously clicked Tailwind. They click Trick Room, which is very possible. Um, no, they just go for a. I'm assuming Specs Thunderbolt. I don't really know why you would ever click Thunderbolt if you don't have to. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna assume that was a Specs Thunderbolt. I'm gonna bring out. Iron Hands... Bring out Iron Hands, I'm gonna click Fake Out, I'm gonna Terra, and I'm gonna Wicked Blow. This is gonna seem like a counterintuitive play, but I think it should work because then I just switch out next turn for Goldengo and I keep putting on pressure with uh you know I mean let's be honest like they very well might have not specs and be just going for that move but like I kind of doubt it. I still think a Specs Thunderbolt is going to do a lot to me if, if they, uh, Terry Terry and they get out of this. But, yeah, so we get the KO. I, I do not get that. Um, I mean, the only way that that play makes sense in my mind is if you have a Fairy Terra Garchomp. They have a... They live it. I mean, let's just say that. They go for Earthquake. G Wilker's Batman. They have Life Orb. Okay. I'd like to say I should be faster than Gyarados here. Um, so the Wild Charge, yeah, should KO them. And, I don't know, I, I definitely feel pretty sloppy about this team, like, it's taking me too many losses to get a win, and I think that says something, 
like it says something very serious about the team, right? Cooter's out. Um, let's see. Let's just click Drain Punch. Switch in your Golden Grill. Yeah, GG's. I mean, there's you can't come back. Like, there's no way to come back from that. So, good stuff. Um, I do kind of want to try the team with Reggie Draco, of course. So I might think about that. Um, but we'll call that a vid. And yeah, I don't know if I'll be keeping this team around, so we'll see.